This is the Canon EF 1.4x extender Mark II. It's very small, very light and very well worth having. In this video I'll give you a quick overview and I'll show you some sample photos so you can see what it can do. It's just 272 millimeters long, the maximum diameter is 72.8 millimeters, and it weighs 220 grams. Inside there are five lens elements in four groups. This Mark II version has now been discontinued. It was discontinued when Canon released the Mark III version. The Mark III version costs around 429 US dollars, but you should still be able to pick up these old ones on the used market. Apart from the Mark III being better optically, there are some other differences which I'll explain later in the video. The teleconverter fits between the lens and the body and it simply magnifies the focal length by 1.4. Of course you don't get anything for nothing and the penalty you have to pay is that you lose a stop of light. So this is one of my old film lenses, it's a 300mm f4 and with the 1.4 teleconverter it becomes a 420mm f5.6. When I moved to a DSLR system my plan was to replicate this setup so I bought the Canon EF 300mm f4L but it was a lens that I had terrible problems with and I just couldn't get a decent image out of it. I went on a few birding trips, took hundreds of photos and came home and couldn't, couldn't use a single image. And even though I took it to the Canon Service Centre in Singapore, they checked it and said it was all okay, I just couldn't get a decent image. So I sold it and bought the, the Canon EF 400mm, which has been an absolutely fantastic lens. You can only use this converter with certain Canon lenses and they all tend to be L lenses that are quite long. With other lenses, because of this protrusion here, it's physically impossible to mount the converter onto the lens. These are the only two lenses I own that work with the extender. The Canon uh, 400mm f5.6L and the Canon 7200 f4L IS. And by the way, I, I sometimes refer to it as an extender, sometimes as a teleconverter, and they're also known as magnifiers, but they're all the same thing. The obvious advantage is the 1.4 times increase in focal length, but there are also some disadvantages. The stop of light you lose means slower shutter speeds and possibly some camera shake if you're hand holding, but image stabilization systems tend to be so good these days that's not really an issue. There's also a slight degradation in image quality, but again, you, you need to look really hard to see anything. And any flaws in your lens will be magnified when you, when you put the extender on. But enough talk, let's see what it can do in real life. Imagine you're sitting in your garden and you see a hoopoe who decides to come and visit. And all you have on your camera is your standard 18-55 kit lens. So you zoom it as far as you can to 55 millimeters, aim it at the bird and take a shot and this is what you get. It's enough to prove to someone that a hoopoe came into your garden, but other than that it's hardly very impressive. If you're fortunate enough to have a 70 to 200 zoom lens on your camera and zoom in as much as you can, this is what you get. It's a lot better, but still not great. If you add a 1.4 times extender to that combination, We've had to move to a slower shutter speed, but with the increase in magnification, there's a noticeable improvement. Now, if we move to a real birding lens, the Canon EF 400mm f5.6L, you will notice more magnification and another improvement. And by the way, none of these images are cropped. They're all, as they came out of the camera, I've just resized them for video. This image was taken with the EF 400mm f5.6 and the 1.4 times extender to get a focal length of 560mm and it's a really nice combination for bird photography. Just compare it again with the image taken with the, the standard kit lens 18 to 55mm. Another important thing to mention is that when you add a teleconverter it doesn't change the closest focusing distance of the lens. Now let's talk about autofocus and the Canon EF 400mm has a maximum aperture of f5.6 so when you add the 1.4 times extender 
the maximum aperture becomes f8. Some older camera bodies won't autofocus at f8. My old 40D wouldn't autofocus at f8. However, my M6 does. So depending on your camera body, you may or may not be able to autofocus at f8. Earlier in the video, I mentioned some differences between the Mark II and the Mark III versions of the 1.4 times extender. Apart from price and optical quality, there are also some differences in the way the two extenders handle autofocus. I can't give you a comprehensive list of differences, but I can just give you one example. Say you own a Canon 80D body and the Mark II version of the Canon EF 100-400mm lens. That lens has a maximum aperture of f5.6. So if you add an extender, the maximum aperture will become f8. If it's a Mark II version of the extender, you only get a single autofocus point. But if it's the Mark III version of the extender, you'll get 27 autofocus points. Obviously, the Mark III version is better, but it's going to cost you a lot more money than picking up a cheap used Mark II version. I've owned extenders for almost 30 years, and I think they're great, because they basically give you two lenses for the price of one. If you own a 300 f4 lens, then by having an extender, you also get a 420mm f5.6 lens. One thing to bear in mind is that extenders do have lens elements. Extension tubes don't have any lens elements, so if you can find a cheap set of extension tubes, as long as the mechanical connection and the electrical connections are okay, you're not going to see any degradation in image quality. However, if you buy a cheap extender, you may well see a big degradation in image quality. If you're a Canon shooter and want to buy an extender, I would recommend buying a Canon extender. Although it will be more expensive than a third party, you won't have to worry about any problems with image quality. I hope that quick overview was useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and any likes or subscriptions will be very much appreciated.